why haven't you called me back? How oh, I don't know. did somebody do that to somebody else? I told you that this has happened in the past. So earlier today, I came across one of the scariest and most pathetic videos I've seen in a while. Now, I think most people have been rejected by a girl or guy at least a couple times in their life before, and it obviously sucks. There's few feelings worse than being rejected by someone, but you just gotta take it and move on. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at someone who didn't do that. Get ready to see the absolute worst way to handle rejection. Before we start, I just want to give quick credits to Jamari since this is where I originally saw this video. So shout out to him. Be sure to check him out. But without further ado, let's take a look. I had a first date planned for Friday. I took a nap so that I would be all rested and fresh. I showered. <laughs> I did my hair. I looked good. And then I sat in a restaurant for a half hour waiting for him and he never showed up. He then called me two hours later to let me know that his dad was in the hospital. And then he called me after that to tell me that his dad wasn't actually in the hospital and that he lied. He then proceeded to leave me about five or six additional voicemails. I would like to present them to you now. And it's Brad again. So it's been, it's been an hour and I haven't really heard from you, um, which I don't think is very cool. Uh, I talked to my friends, and they said I should have heard something from you by now. Uh, I know you're busy with work and everything like that, but, you know, I just basically spilled my guts to you and, you know, was super honest with you, and I just don't think that it's fair that you're not calling me back. Um, it's just not cool, you know. Uh, not cool. I honestly, I'm starting to rethink things. And what? I don't know if I don't hear from you in the next like 30 minutes, I'm sorry. I, I just don't, I just don't think it's going to work out. So immediately, there's a few red flags with this guy here. He doesn't think it's very cool that she's not answering him, yet he didn't show up to the date and even admits to lying about his father being in the hospital. Why the hell would anyone want to go on a date with you at that point? That alone is already alarming, but he somehow thinks that just because he admitted to his lie, that automatically means he should get a second chance with this girl and is the victim in this situation. Just from that 40 second message, alone you could already tell that this guy is clearly a narcissist and a gaslighter but it's not over though this is just the start of the messages the call and apologize i'm super sorry i just get really upset sometimes i you know i just haven't been treated very well over the years and you know i you said you were different i thought you were different and you know, I just get a little upset when I feel like somebody's not being honest with me after I've been honest with them because I was honest with you, so I'm just going to hope you're honest with me. But I still haven't heard from you. It's, it's been a little bit. It's been a few hours, and I just feel like you could respect the situation and me. I I'm could. You call me back, but like I said, I just wanted to apologize. I need to yell, and, you know, that's not who I am. Uh, just give me a call and so we can reschedule everything. And once we do, I can explain to you what type of person I am and how honest I am and just cool and calm and all that fun stuff. So I look forward to talking to you and rescheduling uh, another day with you. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I think it's pretty clear what kind of person you are. So a few hours have passed and here he is still leaving messages on this girl's phone and continuing to gaslight. Keep in mind through all this that he's the one that stood her up, yet in his eyes, he's the victim here. This is going from pathetic to batshit crazy territory now, and he even has the audacity to talk about how much of an honest person he is. Because, you know, nothing more honest than lying about your father being in the hospital to skip a date. I think this one's my favorite. It's the peace day resistance. Why haven't you called me back? Oh, How I don't know. did somebody do that to somebody else? I told you that this has happened in the past. You said you weren't going to do it. You said it happened to you, and it happened to me. That's why we got along so well. I have left several messages filling my heart to you. All I'm asking for is a call back. And we could go on a date. I could treat you really nice. I really can. I just don't understand girls like you. 
I thought you were different. Yeah, this guy is batshit crazy. That is a bullet dodged if I've ever seen it. You can't listen to that and think that this dude is mentally stable. Didn't this guy say he wouldn't give her a second chance if she didn't call him back in 30 minutes? So if I don't hear from you in the next like 30 minutes, I'm sorry, I, I just don't. I just don't think it's gonna work out. For some context, hours have went by at this point, and Mason, the girl in the video, isn't even posting every single one of these voicemails. Now, if I was this girl, I would get a taser, pepper spray, a gun maybe. Just judging by this guy's seething anger you could hear through the phone, I think we may have a potential stalker situation in the works. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I was just thinking, um, please do not put any of my information on TikTok. Like, like I said, I'm kind of a sensitive guy. I'm a private guy. And just please, whatever you do, do not put this on TikTok. I would never. That is the last thing that I would ever do. But after you screamed at me and you, like, you know, stood me up and the, like, seven voicemails, I forgot. I forgot. I would hate, you know, that legal get involved. <laughs> just please, just don't, don't do it. Just be smart and just don't do it, okay? He's threatening me. All right, uh, call me back. I still haven't heard from you. What What is this man's thought process at this point? You You gotta wonder if Brad really thinks he could still get a second chance with this girl. Either Brad's having a psychotic breakdown, or he is genuinely this narcissistic and unself aware to his actions. Something tells me it's a bit of both. Also, just when you thought things couldn't get any more insane here, you thought wrong. Hi, Mason. My name is Patty, and I'm a, I'm Bradley's mom, and I know I should not be calling you right now that this is none of my business, but I, I have a habit sometimes of trying to get, trying to make things right, and, I, and Bradley told me what happened over the weekend, and, and about the date that y'all were supposed to go on, and I was so excited for him, and excited for you, too. I know you're new in Dallas, and you need to get out and, and see what the city's all about, and and uh, Bradley and I have a lot of talks about, about how we treat people and how he knows that what he did was not right. And he knows that and he has acknowledged. He said, Mama, I know I shouldn't have done it. And I just, I want you to know that as his mama, I, I take this very seriously. And I told him, you know, you need to make it right. You know, it's not how we treat people. And he knows that. And he's always been such a, a good, kind boy. And, and I just feel like... You know, maybe if, if you would consider giving them another shot, maybe you guys could figure this out. And so, what anyway? What I was what I was kind of hoping was that you maybe come over to our house and and have supper and just kind of let you see that 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 Bradley's a good boy and that you know I raised him right and he, did you he know? knows better than to do what he did over the weekend. So anyway. Um, show you some southern hospitality. I can I can make you some clearly your son has been raised right a true gentleman I'll be honest never have I seen someone handle a rejection worse than this I thought it was already crazy and pathetic enough to go on an entire incel rant to some girl You don't even know but it has somehow gotten even sadder word of advice to any guys watching this If you ever get rejected by a girl don't get your mom to personally call her this is even weirder when you can Consider the fact that this is a grown-ass adult man getting his mommy to call another adult woman. Brad is just lucky his picture or full name wasn't on any of these TikToks because I don't think you could ever recover from this. At the end of the day, let this video be an example of how not to handle getting rejected and also let me know what you guys think in the comments. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel and until then stay sexy peace